Imagine needing medical care but not seeking it out because you don't have access to health insurance. For many young adults and college students, this is not their imagination. This is their reality. The U.S. uninsured rate has risen to a four-year high according to a recent Gallup poll. Young adults under the age of 35 are among the most heavily impacted groups, including Deanna Ayers. Um, so I've actually never had health insurance, so nobody in my family, I don't think, has health insurance, uh, and I didn't know that that was a thing until, like, middle school. One major factor that influences this group's ability to get health insurance is financial resources. So the biggest um, barrier to getting health insurance for most people, whether they're in college or not, is going to be the cost. Um, a lot of studies that I was seeing is that health care expenses and just health insurance is now um, expected to take up a, a quarter to a third of a annual paycheck. Um, when you think of how much money you've got to save, okay, if you're paying $1,000 in rent, you know, somewhere in that range um, for a one-bedroom apartment, um, that's a huge amount of rent for somebody who's working an eight, you know, eight twenty-five an hour, seven twenty-five an hour. Then to try and add in, okay, I've got to take fuel costs, food costs, possibly housing care, um, tuition for those who, for students. Um, you know, there's just not a lot left over in that pot for health insurance. Along with finances, limited access to government programs also plays a role. One key part of that is states like Texas and Florida who decided not to expand Medicaid coverage under the Affordable Care Act. What this means is that people who have incomes above Medicaid eligibility limits but below the poverty level will fall into a coverage gap. Um, but I definitely think about like my brother now that he's like working and like actually able to like support himself like he can't afford health insurance but like sometimes like um, different people that I know are like oh yeah like I make this amount of money and like to me it's a lot but to them it's like between paying for college and paying for everything else like that's it's just not feasible. A lack of health insurance can be detrimental to both the individual without it and their community. So it's, it's much more um, expensive for them to have primary care treatment, so they're usually not going to go to um, get vaccinations and routine preventative care um, treatments, which means that they're much more likely to be um, needing emergency care or urgent care situations. Um, and they often use the emergency room as their um, primary care doctor, basically, for anything that they can't take care of on their own. Um, which does rack up large medical bills um, and also can um, typically that cost is going to be passed on to um, the community as well because in most cases they're just not able to pay it um, and they're going to be usually in a sliding scale or some other payment form where they're not covering the full cost of it and it's going to have to be subsidized either by the community, the hospital, or somebody else. It can also impact daily mental health and access to important medications. I usually think about it every morning because I'm on two medications. I'm on birth control and I'm on an antidepressant. Uh, in my birth control, I had to apply for a low-income program for people who need it because uh, I couldn't just go to my doctor and I didn't have insurance. Um, so only because that program exists am I able to be on birth control. Uh, and then for my um, antidepressant, I have the Student Health and Wellness Center is only $20 if you pay the day of and don't have insurance. Um, but I like whenever I take it, I'm like, oh, you know, I have about five months left of that prescription. And then after that, I'll have to go to the doctor and get a new appointment and then pay for this like uh, medication out of pocket. And I really don't know how that's going to work or how I'll be able to afford it. Um, so it's 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 something I stress out about every single morning before I like go to work. For more information on obtaining health insurance and programs that may be available to you, visit healthcare.gov.